many of you came here because uh, you read somewhere that I met all these powerful people who could make fire and do this and do that. And you know, one of them, his name is John. Maybe you have seen the videos, maybe you have heard the stories or read the book. Mm. He became famous as the Magus of Java, mm. John Chang. You know, of four years with him, what I remember, what he really taught me, was not all the powers and the energies and the agoponchos and I don't know, whatever else. But when he told me, David, you must believe in God. You must pray. And when you pray, tears should flow from your eyes. This very same man who was chastised when in his pride in the mountains of Borneo calls or challenged the existence of the divine. Maybe if you have read the book you might remember this rather dramatic passage. Came back a changed man. And nowadays, when you enter in his house, he's an old man. What you see written in his living room is Jesus is the Lord of this house. Now, I am, especially back then, um, again, not particularly keen or close to any religious affiliation. But again, I remember that. And nowadays, many, many years later, that is what I keep or what he really taught me. Not the powers, not the meditations, not the breathings, not this, not that. You must believe and when you pray, tears of love should flow from your eyes. You see, all these great powers that you are here to achieve, uh, opening your chakras and purifying uh, your nadis or, uh, I don't know, connecting the spirits, are so small. If instead of wasting your time on it, as I did, you instead invest the precious time of your life to love. You make much better use of your life. For, you see, through love, you can realize the comparticipation with God, with the Divine. And uh, isn't it by definition God infinite? Yeah? So if you can realize even the 0.5% of that infinity, 
How much is it? It's infinite. There are scientists in this room, I believe. It's one of the paradox of infinity. Doesn't matter how much you divide it, it remains infinite. If you just have a glimpse of the divine, it is infinite. And John uh, said uh, very clearly, John the Evangelist, God is love. Who knows love? Knows God. So if you can realize even a little bit of love, you have realized a little bit of God. But because of the nature of the divine, which is infinite, a little bit of love is infinite. And uh, a few years ago, in Indonesia always, I seem to have an interesting karma with that country, I met another uh, remarkable man, a very simple man, a cook, now in his late 60s. And uh, following the religious tradition of his culture, he's an Hinduist. Uh, he went to the temple and did all the Brahmin rituals and uh, all his life. With no ambition and no specific knowledge of anything. And they have a formula that they repeat, you know, sort of uh, regularly. And at the end of the rituals, they repeat. Uh, remember you are that God you are that love and that love is in you and he listened this since he's small about eight years ago so he was in his uh, just uh, yeah, maybe l either late 50s or very early 60s one day he went to that temple, he listened the same sermon, and when he listened it again, he suddenly realized, yes, it is so. He felt that love into his heart, and he realized that that love is God, and it is infinite. And he realizes his identity with it, his co-participation in it. He walked out of the temple with all the siddhis and powers that the man whom I mentioned before, John, had to work for 30 years to get. Four, six hours a day of gruesome meditation and breathing techniques. He just walked out of the temple and they were all there. They are always there. Because they are but a fraction, a fraction, so small, compared to the infinity of love. So if you just realize, through your action, that love, you become part of that infinity. You will do much greater things than you can read in any of these books or any of these people that blind like myself were feeding the greed, the eye with power. <laughs>